Discourse 5, October 17, 1932 Saint Germain Invocation Thou mighty infinite presence, Thou all-pervading healing presence, Descend and do thy work. Thou mighty infinite intelligence, Give forth thy confidence and strength. Fill the mind and body of each one with thy radiant presence. Fill every cell with thy radiant presence. Prove thy presence in thy conquering mastery and power. Mighty master of presence within each one, come forth. Erase this outer human self and hold thy dominion now and forever. There is but one intelligence, presence, essence, and love, and this thou art. Pour forth thy radiance through these outer cloaks of flesh and command thy perfection to thus be manifest and sustained. I bring you greetings from the great host ever shedding their radiance and intelligence. Take the command, I am the pure electronic essence that fills my mind and body and I broke nothing else. God in you is master of all conditions at all times, say often, I am always the victorious presence of the mighty I am. Feel the mighty current of electronic essence fill your mind and body erasing instantly all in harmonious activity and giving you the consciousness of mastery and victory. Command, divine presence, pour thy radiance through this mind and body and see that thy wisdom directs always in every outer activity. The Discourse Let us be conscious of the healing radiance filling this home. The great need today is the healing of the nations and of individuals. As the individual is given assistance through the outpouring of the electronic energy through the mind and body and filling every cell, so in an expanded degree is the nation treated likewise. The nation is a great body of individuals and of nature's creations. We have the same power, being the individualized presence of God. Then we know I am everywhere present, and when my consciousness takes on this expansion, I know its energy leaps into action everywhere, in the cells of the body of the world as well as in the body of the individual. We must come to know that the active presence of God, all-powerful, is everywhere present, that there is not a single nook nor corner anywhere that the active presence of God is not. That this active presence seizes and binds all human creation and consumes instantly everything of an inharmonious and undesirable nature. With the use of the electronic belt surrounding the individual, he must understand that he can make this an absolutely invincible protection through its protection divine wisdom acts, repelling everything through our conscious actions that shall not be taken into the system, and that this omnipresent wisdom and intelligence is always prompting us to refuse acceptance of anything into the system, either through feeling, thought, or food that would in any wise disturb its harmonious activity. The natural activity of the currents of life play everywhere like the play of a searchlight. The outer activity should at all times be an invitation to the receptivity of the currents of life, which are pure cosmic energy, and which are ever flowing through the atmosphere of the earth. It is true that where there are conditions too dense for it to penetrate, it goes over or under them, so to speak, and finds its way onward just the same. Every individual since the beginning of this year should come to understand that he is walking and moving constantly within the reach of mighty healing currents. Through the power of Cyclopea, the secret love star, and the rays from the Golden City, currents of healing force of tremendous power are constantly directed through the atmosphere of Earth. These you will understand by their very nature being the energy of God in action are therefore self-sustained. The consciousness in the individual of their presence will enable him to contact these rays at any time. Students who have a feeling of patriotism and who wish to help the nation should take the stand that these healing currents reach not only individuals, but carry into conditions, environment, and official places like an intelligent flame 
and are doing a work for the protection and uplift of the children of Earth not heretofore set into such powerful actions since the creation of this planet. The more individuals become truly and sincerely conscious of this operation, the more can they become mighty messengers of assistance in this most unusual work. Through the conscious manifestation of the mental forces back of the communist is the sinister influence with which we are dealing in the outer world's activity. Those who wish to be true messengers will meditate upon this idea until they have grasped the full import of it. They will use their conscious effort, knowing that these currents of consuming electronic energy consciously directed through the atmosphere of the earth cannot be interfered with and that in every sincere conscious effort of the individual in his desire to give his assistance there will flow a consciousness of this energy that he has not hitherto possessed. Sometimes there are individuals of such a nature that while wonderfully kind and willing the sudden consciousness they need to let go of certain kinds of food or other activity is a sort of shock to them. I would say to these individuals that the divine intelligence in each one will cause them to naturally let go of the things not in accordance with his great presence at every step of the way when it is necessary. In order for an individual to consciously let go of a thing, he must have something that he feels is stronger to which he can anchor. As students become conscious of this, the confidence and strength will come to them to take the step. As I suggested once before, I would consciously, at least once or more a day, stand on the floor and charge the home with this pure electronic energy and keep it charged, so that God's very presence will keep out of the home, food, thought, any kind of presence, and everything that is not in accordance with the desires here. I would suggest that whenever you find someone is coming, you take the consciousness, I am the pure radiance of divine love enfolding these individuals and this garment enfolds them when they come and when they leave. When you are conscious of this you clothe them and they will wear this garment into the home and out of it and for them it will be a sustaining power. Those who come into your home are deserving of assistance and this will enable them to receive the full assistance they desire and you will love to give. No matter how great the knowledge attained, we at no time ever have the right to force either the knowledge or the discipline upon anyone. Only as students apply what they hear and receive can they ever know the reality. When you say I am, you acknowledge the power that breaks down all barriers and conditions of opposition. This human self is just like a starving lion in the jungle. It will tear anything to get what it wants to eat. In this state, the human consciousness will tear its best friend to pieces to get its own way. In any astral element, there is that human desire element through which, unless one shuts his mind entirely to the astral world, will constantly find himself interrupted in a good decision. Because he has left that door open to a force far more subtle than is ever found in the outer world. Many think they are good forces in the astral world. I tell you, no good force ever comes from the astral world. Any good force that seems to come from there must come through it, but it makes its own tunnel of light through which it comes. In the first place, what makes the astral world? There is only one place where the undesirable creation can find a home, and that is the next step to the human activity, which is the astral realm. This realm of astral activity has within it all undesirable creation accumulated through the centuries. Therefore it is easy to see at once that no good comes from any contact with the astral realm. It has nothing in it whatsoever of the Christ. There is as wide a difference between the astral realm of activity and what some call the star astral as there is in between light and darkness. However, the so-called star astral is again misunderstood. It is not really called star astria. It really is an activity, not a realm, and it is from the fourth sphere. The star astria 
is a cosmic being whose work it is to consume all possible within the astral realm and to reach individual whose attention seems to be drawn there. This great being will sooner or later clear the understanding of such individuals and consume their desire for any contact with that unhappy realm. No little children remain in the astral realm. The home of children who leave the earth is in the etheric realm. People who are in the body are in the same sphere when they sleep as the disembodied. There is a sustaining consciousness of the I am presence, which if one goes forth with it on going to sleep, through that sustaining power one can reach unbelievable heights. If you have the consciousness through the outer expression of this I am presence, and you take this consciousness with you as you go into the other realms, it is a sustaining presence that is unbelievable. There is an activity in the experienced life that demands the conscious recognition and use of the I am presence of God in action. When you take that conscience with you through the veil of sleep, the soul is able to function out of the body with almost limitless power. Suppose there is a seeming need in the physical activity. Before going to sleep we can say this. Through the mighty power and intelligence which I am, I go forth while my body sleeps, make conscious contact with, and abundantly fulfill this requirement no matter what it is. Knowing that this activity is self-sustained, it cannot fail in any way. It is a mighty way of setting into motion the I Am Presence. Whatever the I Am commands while the body sleeps must be obeyed. I knew of one instance of this kind when there was need of protection. The one using it had a certain consciousness of this presence. The individual was falling over a cliff, and this I Am Presence instantly built up a form, caught the individual, and took him back to safety. When one enters the conscious path and goes into any environment where there might be danger, one should always do some quick, definite work on his protection. For until one raises the body, he is always functioning more or less where he is contacting the outer thought of humanity. If the student be climbing the mountains, he must do con conscious protective work. He must do the protective work and do it consciously. If the student will always keep up his conscious protection, he will be able to avoid the destruction of other individuals. Steamship Protection God is the almighty power protecting and directing the steamship, therefore it moves in a zone of absolute safety. On the conscious path, you must be up and in action at all time. There are some who might think this is a suggestion of fear, but it is not. It is recognition of the omnipresent protective power. Automobiles God is all-seen and all-knowing, sees ahead and will naturally avoid undesirable contact. When you say, God is driving this car, the vision of God goes ahead, sees blocks and miles ahead, and the prompting will come to go to the street which is clear. Because God is driving a car, our path is unobstructed in every way. There are two reasons why students have accidents. First, because they have become angry and opened the door. Second, because the student has lain down on the job. Whenever we do a thing with a positive, dynamic attitude, it gives confidence to the outer and it cannot fail. To project an electronic belt around another, say, I am the protective electronic belt around. And when you say, I am the protective ring or belt, it means that the electronic belt is instantly formed, invincible. Realize that when you say, I am, whatever is commanded is all powerfully, instantly done. You cannot use the I am presence without having instantaneous activity often say, I am the omnipresent, all-powerful protecting intelligence governing this mind and body. It is instantly omnipresent there in action when you say I am. The I am, which is everywhere present, is at that point doing the work that moment. This is the way you set into action by the most direct means, the all-powerful action of the I am, which is all in all. 
constantly remind the outer consciousness that when you say, I am, you have set into action all the attributes of the Godhead. You are now at a point when you should have instantaneous activity. When you say, I am, in any condition, it means that instant action is taking place there by the greatest power in the universe. The moment you become conscious that I am is the full activity of God, containing all the attributes of the Godhead, you do that moment have the full use of this mighty power. Use often, I am the presence producing this master home. Get the consciousness of the mighty presence you are calling forth when you are using that I am. I have always loved to specify what I wanted to do. If I want health in my body, I say, I am the presence charging this body with pure electronic energy. When you say, I am the ascension of this physical body right now, then you have accepted and entered into that action right now. When you are striving for the light in unlimited action, you are striving for the greatest thing in the world. Fill your world with the presence which I am, and when you do this, feel you are doing it consciously. If one will take the consciousness I am, the perfect activity of every organ and cell of my body, then it must manifest. You have but to be conscious of this, and it must be. Use often. I am perfect health now manifest in every organ of my body. Put your confidence in your I am instead of something. Suppose you want great intelligent activity, say, I am the perfect intelligent activity in this body. You cannot do this looking to something outside. To clear the mind, eyes and ears, I am the perfect intelligence active in this brain. I am the perfect sight looking through these eyes. I am the perfect hearing through these ears. Go at these treatments with determination and they cannot fail. You have the range, now use them. Avoid all use of words that seem to be a reminder of limited conditions. When you are conscious of the I am, you don't care what any in the world does. You must not be concerned about anything but your world. For squaring the circle, use the I am activity. Pay no attention to what anyone says. Just say specifically what you want to produce. Say again and again, I am the only presence acting in this. Say, I am the only presence acting in my world. For finding things, I am the intelligence and all seen eye which finds this. You will be amazed at the feeling that grows within when you do not have to look to anything but the I am. Wipe out of your mind everything but the conscious operation of the I am, for it is the most potent power possible. Get the sense of ease about producing these seeming miracles. Suppose you want to illumine a room, say, I am the illumination of this room. Then you act upon the electrons in this room. The illuminating of the atmosphere of the room is as easy as raising your hand. Your ability to illumine a room is just as easy as physically illuminated through the electric lamp. You can just as easily plug into the universal current of electricity as through the wires. To make visible the illumination within your own body, say, I am the visible illumination through this body now. Right within yourself is a focal point. The I am in you created everything in the universe. When you enter into the confidence of the I am, it will soon do away with all obstructions. Use often. I am the consuming power and presence of every bit of fear, doubt and questioning in my outer activity concerning this invincible activity of the I am. Keep this up and you will always know instantly what to do. You can take this and use it and thus remove every obstacle to the I am activity. When you operate consciously, you know positively it is done. The consciousness of an individual clothes the form with that individual's own concepts of it. When these are drawn about an individual who has generated a certain energy, 
they impose upon him nothing but the things of his own world. Whenever you feel a sudden joy impulse, grasp it, use it, and decree. Benediction. Thou mighty, infinite intelligence, we give praise and thanks for thy mighty comprehension and mighty manifestation the conscience of those presence. We give praise and thanks that I am the perfect understanding and operation and that I am everywhere present, performing all required to be done. I am the illumination of everyone who looks to me. I am the radiant, intelligent activity in the minds of all mankind. I am the master acting in the brain of everyone on humanity, causing divine love, justice, peace, harmony, and perfection to manifest to our beloved America.